Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV. A bit of a techie video today. I'm going to be uh, swapping out this controller board for a newer upgraded model. Now my Cougar was built in 2010, we bought it in 2011. And back then this was quite the whiz-bang feature. This was one of the first generation of remote controls where you could control your slide and your awning and your jacks, that sort of thing with a remote control. This is what it looks like here. So you would just uh, push the button and you could put the awning in and out, that sort of thing. Um, unfortunately, this last year, this box has failed. And uh, what it does is it'll only go in one direction. You're supposed to be able to say, put your slide out and then draw it in. Well, it was only going in the out position. Um, when I tried to draw it in, there was no reaction. Let's test with the jacks here. Okay, that would be out, and the other way, nothing. So underneath here, I looked and there was a bunch of different uh, relays, um, but unfortunately this is all sealed in kind of a rubber coating in there. So you can't go in and, and fix this at all. Um, I kind of looked around the internet and there was some on a, a company called Gamma Electronics was, was um, selling replacement modules. But also during my uh, searches, I found out that uh, Lippert was uh, making and selling these things. So I contacted my uh, contacts at Lippert and said, you know, because I'm a Lippert ambassador and been promoting their products and installing and reviewing them, if they had something for me, because uh, this on their site said obsolete, and even the generation after this was obsolete. I think they're on their fifth generation now. But anyway, they, they, they contacted their technical um, department and he advised me that I could use one of their third generation modules. Um, they called it a selectable fuse module and it would have the five as a five outputs so it would be able to replace this but I wouldn't be able to use this remote so it also would need a touch screen remote that they use in their ground leveling system. So it gets kind of complicated there <laughs> but anyway I should be able to make it work in my system now. I don't really use my remote too often. The big reason I want it is if something ever goes wrong with the manual switches, um, you see the power goes in here and then this this power leads to all the manual switches. So, you know, inside the rig when I bring in the slide and I don't have to use a remote, I can just push a manual switch. But if everything anything ever goes wrong with those, they're kind of buried into the walls and stuff. And I discovered pretty early on that the remote wiring was slightly different path. So uh, oftentimes when the switch wouldn't work, the remote would work. I really found that out with my landing gear. Down here they had a fuse that would blow once in a while. And then right here the landing gear switch wouldn't work. But I, I discovered the remote would work. So that's my main reason to want to keep this functionality. Other than, you know, it's kind of neat to be able to use the remote sometimes. Um, kind of nice when you're when you're back in the truck and you can adjust the level of the, of the hitch without getting inside and outside the truck. Anyway, let's go look at the board they sent me and I kind of explain what's going on with it. Okay, so here's the replacement board. And it's a 305117 part number, 5 function receiver with selectable fuses. And then this is the remote that's able to control it, touch screen remote. And it is 358601 link transmitter remote with charger. So this is pretty well got the same functionality as the other board except as the selectable fuses. And see on this side, this is where my battery is going to hook up to it right here. And then along here they have actual three external switch positions here for the manual switches. One, two, and three. And then on the other side here we have function one, two, three, four, and then light. So much like mine I have on my rig, I'm going to need a main slide, landing gear, and uh, awning. I don't have anything for function 4 
I could maybe add something in the future. And then I also have the light, they call it the, the flood light or the security light. So what happens when this thing turns on, let me just, I just have a battery box here to simulate a battery. You hear it clicks like that. And then when you press a function on the remote, like light, you could hear a click and then power goes to the light. If I'm going to use, say, the main slide and I want to go out, you can hear it momentarily goes on. The other way in momentarily goes on as well. And what that will do is put voltage on here and then it will reverse it. So there'll be 12 volt on it, then it'll reverse it so it, it makes the motor run forward and reverse. I'll just show you that with my multimeter. Okay, so we got the multimeter across number one position there. And so I'll put the slide out. And you can see 13 volts. Let go of that, it goes off. And slide in, negative 13 volts. So that's how that works. And then there's also the light down here. There we go. So it latches on. The other ones are momentary while you're pressing the button. And also, what it does is on these uh, manual switches here, you can see there's 13 volts on the manual switch. But if I go to use the slide, say I, I put it out with the remote, it actually kills the voltage to the manual switches. So you can't use the remote at the same time as the, as the, the manual switch takes a few seconds before it puts power back onto your manual switches. There we go. So it's just sort of a safety feature. So I'll show you how I uh, configure the remote. Do you want to reset the pin code used to unlock the remote? Say yes, pin has been reset. New pin can be entered after you leaving this menu. So you go into here and you can set your different functions. Like I showed you, there was four different functions there on this one. There also is an 8 function model. So I've chose main slide. You can go through all kinds of different things um, to pick. So I go main slide and function 2 I'm going to put awning. Function 3 landing gear. And then function 4 I just chose bed lights for now. I might uh, change it to something else. I'll just put it to none. There's the none. You can see all the different things you can set this thing up to do. Multiple slides. Kelly slide. There are none. Function 5, none. I don't have this actually on this controller, but like I say, it does an 8 function one as well. Then it says configure level or type 1. This has got to do with the the ground level system that Lippert has, and I don't have that all at, at all on my rig, so I'm just gonna go no, and then type two, same thing, no, I guess there's different types. Then it shows, okay, what this is gonna control is my main slide, my awning, and my landing gear in positions one, two, and three. Then I wanna sync the remote, so there's actually a button to push. Let me just show you that. Right on here, there's a button, so I just hold that down, and you hear a clink, and that that uh, sinks it. Then it says this config fuses. Yes, now this really confused me because it said enter fuse config pin, but I didn't have. There's very sparse instructions. I got zero instructions when this arrived. Looking online, I could find I couldn't find hardly any instructions anywhere seems this is more of an, a Lippert to OEM thing and I think they don't want people to uh, have the fuse config pin out of safety. Um, I did a big search around the internet and I actually found the default code. If you're ever doing this you could do that but I guess there's there's something where maybe they don't want that that uh, that uh, out in the wild because you could set the wrong fuse fuses there and you could cause problems with having too, too large a fuse for the wiring and cause a fire or something like that. 
anyway I found that uh, code online and then you can select fuse positions so I have main slide fuse position 1 right there position 2 Select awning fuse, position two. Select landing gear fuse, position three. There we go. So same thing, I'm gonna send configuration. Okay. And then we can set the, the login pin, basically gets the remote to work. So I'm just gonna choose 999 to make it easy. And there we go, now we have light, main slide, all there. If there was more than four items it would show up on there to go to the next screen. But that's all I need for my rig so let's go out and install this puppy and see if she works. Oh one more thing before I go. The fuses. I kind of went through and it says one to four over here. There's four fuses and that's the four different motors that you can control. And then there's also the light. That's the fuse for the light circuit. And then down here they got external one, two, and three for the manual external switches. And I found that this is two and three fuses. I assume the external one is going to go to all my my manual existing manual um, stuff switches. So it doesn't have a fuse that I can find. So it must just feed through, and it's already being fused. Um, on the feed line just like the the thing I'm replacing has no fuses so that's that's all I can think of that there's because there's not a fuse for for external one but anyway what I'm gonna do is they have different values here 30 20 15 and 10 so I'm gonna take the three that I'm using one two and three and put 30 amp fuses in because that's what those those motors call for my awning my slide and my landing gear so the new controller module is a little bit bigger in size than what I'm replacing. So I'm going to have to move some of my wiring around, but it's pretty basic in install. Just unscrews, all these just unscrew and they're just going to screw in place in the corresponding places here. You can see here's where my main power comes in, manual switches and then out to the motors and stuff. You can see I've, I've put a second set on here because I was using this power to, to go to my... Um, um, under bed lighting I think it was that I installed before and I also had installed some uh, uh, drain electric valves in my drain tanks so there's kind of like two extras there that I'm going to actually move over to here and utilize the extra positions here for those wires just to clean things up arrange it nicely then I can use whatever fuses in here that I would like for those two things. There we go, all in place. So let's go through it. This white and black is my main power coming in from the battery. Um, on my rig, white is negative and black is positive for the battery wires. And then same thing, this black and the white, that's going out to my main um, manual switches and it actually goes through this fuse over here um, then I also added two more of the external switches here uh, one is for my drain tank valves electric and the other is for a light I put under the bed with a magnetic switch on it just so Anne can see stuff when she's in there looking at her photography gear uh, right here we have that's the the light switch so that's the one that latches so it turns on the security light and then up here the top one we have the manual main slide I just have one slide and then we have the awning and then we have the landing gear plus and minus plus and minus plus and minus up here these have a sticker that says can so I imagine they're what they call a can bust it's for uh, sending additional signals so that's not used in here. There's your button for syncing with the remote. 
And this thing, I'm not quite sure what it is. Maybe it's for upgrading firmware or something like that. And over here, there's there's like a, a wire that's probably the antenna wire for the wireless remote. Anyway, let's go see if all that's working now that it's installed. First, we'll try the landing gear since I'm right beside it. Switch is working. Let's try this gizmo. Good enough. Next we'll try the main slide. That was out. In. Out. Let's see if my switch is still working. Yep. Good enough. And we'll check the awning. Extend. Yeah. Retract. Yep. Yeah. Let's go check the remote. Awning. This remote's a little hard to see in the bright sun. There we go. Out. Yeah, that's moving pretty fast. And back in. job and last but not least we'll go with the light security light see if we can see it in the day here there we go definitely on I don't know if the camera picks that up off on off well it looks like everything's back working shape again I want to thank uh, Lippard for sending these products to me so I could do this video for you and also get my rig back working again now these aren't cheap that's for sure but I guess they're kind of a niche product they don't probably have a big production runs of these like the five function receiver that I installed 349 and the replacement touchscreen remote is also 339 on the site so either or or if you have to buy both that's a, a pretty big chunk of money uh, if you want more information I'll link to this wireless transmitters and receivers page because there is a lot of different versions they've gone through a lot of different generations and it can get quite confusing one thing I didn't find was a whole lot of technical information the, probably the best page I found was this PDF that showed all the different transmitters and boards they've used over the years and then down at the bottom they had all the different uh, pinouts and and kind of a, a schematic diagram of, of how they're put together and then I want to give a hat tip to this guy uh, rvproject.com because he did quite an in-depth uh, uh, thing he added this to his uh, ground control 3 leveling system I guess I guess if you have that you have that remote already and you can add this board on and uh, and and make stuff remote if you don't have the remote stuff so he had quite detailed information so that really helped me when I was trying to figure things out on this anyway I hope you enjoyed that video or found it useful till next time this is Ray from loveyourv.com cheers everyone